week, our investigator, David Goldstein, confronted local officials who spent five figures for a retreat at the beach. As David explains, the county leader now wants to change the law because of our report. I was very upset when I saw your story. L.A. County Supervisor Janice Hahn reacting to our investigation. Do you think it was smart to spend $17,000 of taxpayer money on a retreat at the beach in Santa Monica? Our undercover cameras caught L.A. County Probation Chief Deputy Sheila Mitchell, the number two person in the department, and other members of the executive staff at a management retreat at Shutters on the Beach Resort in Santa Monica costing taxpayers nearly $17,500. I was really upset. I thought that was uh, wrong. Uh, it was bad judgment. And I think it, it sent a really bad message to um, residents of Los Angeles County. The retreat was conducted by the Spirit Awakening Foundation. Their website says they work with youth in the juvenile justice system. And the organizer told me at the retreat, probation executives learned how to work with youth in a more compassionate way, including breathing and meditative exercises to pass along to the staff. What did you learn at that retreat for $17,000? Did you learn how to meditate? Because that's one of the things that they teach. Han says probation officers need more training, but not that kind. I don't think that's what they're asking for. I don't think they're asking for more meditation or breathing exercises. And as far as the venue, an expensive hotel, she says she's considering an ordinance to mandate future retreats to be held in county buildings. It was bad judgment all the, all the way around. It made me upset, and I'm sure it made a lot of people in Los Angeles County upset. When we first started asking questions, the probation department launched an investigation. That investigation is still pending. In the newsroom, I'm David Goldstein, CBS2 News.